In this video, pixel manipulation on the Mac 7219 dot matrix display will be demonstrated. Different shapes and pixel motion will be sketched on the display. In this video, we will focus on pixel manipulation on the Mac 7219 dot matrix display by sketching different pixels and by moving the pixels and controlling the speed at which the pixels are moved through this potentiometer which is connected to analog pin A7. The Mac 7219 module is 8 by 32 dot matrix module. It has uh, 8 rows and 32 columns. It's a 4-in-1 module and the address of the first module is 0 and the second is 1, third is 2 and the fourth is address 3. Using this Arduino library and these two functions within the library set row and set column we can draw animate any shape on this module. Function set row has three arguments buffer, R and value. Buffer is the address of each module. R is the row position which has a value between 0 and 7 and value is the value at a specific row which is an 8-bit uh, number between 0 and all 1's. As an example let's say we want to sketch this uh, row pattern here. So this is located at address 1 so we say set row buffer 1 or address 1 and it's located at row 2 and the pattern we want to put uh, binary pattern is 1101011 which is this value here so executing this statement will give us this pattern on the module function set column has two arguments C and value C is the column position which is from 0 to 31 and value is the value at each column which is an 8-bit binary number between all zeros to all ones as an example let's say we want to sketch this column pattern here so this is located at column 16 and the pattern value is 11000010 so we use the function set column column 16 and this is the binary value executing this statement will give us this shape now using these two functions with some programming techniques we can draw any shape or animate any shape on this module let's have a look at this example here let's say we want to sketch the letter A on the module so we can think of this as uh, two row patterns and two columns so the instruction for the first row would be set row at uh, address 0 at uh, row position 0 and the binary value starting from the most significant bit 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 which is this value here for the second row it's at uh, position uh, 4 and the binary value starting from the most significant bits 0 0 we can assume this 0 it will be covered in the column pattern so it's 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 which is this value here the statement uh, for this uh, column is shown here which is located at uh, column number 2 and the binary value starting from the most significant bit all ones 0 here which is this value here and in a similar way the statement for this column is shown here let's have a look at the code needed to sketch the letter A on the module we need to include this Mac 7219 library and we need to declare this uh, object to the library we need to initialize the object and within the loop function these are the four statements needed to sketch the letter A on the module in this next demonstration we have uh, an example of uh, dot animation by moving the dot around the perimeter of the module counterclockwise starting from the top right corner and the speed of motion is controlled by a potentiometer connected to analog uh, input A7 so within the loop function the first thing we need to do is to read the pot value and save it as uh, dot speed and using this for loop 
we will move the dot to the left and using this uh, for loop we will move the dot down and using uh, these four loops we will move the dot to the right and finally using this for loop we will move the dot upwards and the process continues and now we know how to manipulate uh, dots on the max 7219 module the next logical thing is to apply this on a real application such as a spectrum analyzer thank you for watching